I want to talk to you about using the radial filter. Now, I don't want to just show you the radial filter because you, you may know the radial filter from previous versions, but I want to show you a very neat way to use it, especially with portraits and stuff. Let's say that, well, when I shot at this in the studio, obviously I shot it on a, like a gray seamless paper background. Could have put a light behind her on the background to give her some separation, but I didn't. But you can actually use masking to add that background light now, and it's super, super easy. Go get the masking tool, get your radial gradient, and put your light where you want it. So let's just say I would have put a light maybe back right there behind her. Now, you can go and go to the exposure and brighten it, and it's gonna brighten her and the background behind her. Unfortunately, the mask is going right over her face. Here's where we're gonna use multiple masks to make our life easy. If you look at in the mask panel, there right below the word mask one, right? There's our mask, right? Right below it are two buttons, add and subtract. I wanna light the background behind her. So we're gonna click subtract and we're gonna select subject. We're gonna subtract her from that white circle and watch. Done. That's it. Elevate your photo editing skills at the Kelby One Lightroom Conference coming up May 16th and 17th. Learn from the experts and transform your photography. Sign up at kelbyonelive.com.